Hi Taurus, it's Obsidian Lotus Cell. I know we haven't seen each other in such a freaking long time, but here we are. Um, I felt I felt drawn to uh, do a reading for you guys. So um, there's something going on with you uh, and it has to do with whatever it is you feel like that you're um, either devoting time, a new idea, something that you're coming up with or want to be successful or something that you've been thinking, making some type of change that'll make you happy with money and work working with someone working where you're working what you're doing i don't know um i was also getting the vibe that you feel like you're not getting the respect that you deserve or the respect that you need or something here there's something that has to do with respect either lack thereof or feeling like you need res you want respect you need respect or i don't know um and being careful about talking about your personal business with people that you work with right now. Because you got a group of people, for some of you, you know who this is. If it resonates that you can tell your business to and they're just saying whatever. And it's and making you seem more crazy or wild or slutty or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. Than you are. And uh, just keep your personal business to yourself right now. For some of you, um, there's just a group of people that are just or just don't have anything better to do but talk about other people's shit so don't don't talk about your personal shit if you don't want it out basically i guess maybe um anyway the feather came out which basically to me though is angels watching okay so i've been seeing a lot of angels too so angels being near okay um, I like that message though for this reading, especially. Oh, excuse me. That was a big swaller. I'm trying to drink some tea. Um, so or maybe for like a situation where you feel like, oh God, I'm so frustrated or I'm tired of going to work or this shit sucks, right? Everybody here sucks. Like when you get in that energy, Taurus, maybe like, you know, remember your angels are near and it's okay, right? Or just to try to stay in a high vibe energy. Yeah, harmony. You already have like inner wisdom or wisdom, the knowledge, you know what's up, right? You know how to just kind of protect your energy. I'm hearing and like do your own thing. Okay, so what is going on here? We got a card that's not supposed to be there. And it's just basically about the latest news and conflict, a lot of gossip. Okay, so try to avoid shit that has to do with gossip, right? Or people talking too quickly about things, doing acting too quickly about things, being caught in that cycle and having patience with others. Um Spirit, angels, ancestors, guides, please help me provide Taurus, sun, moon, rising with any messages you would like for them to receive. Also protect us with your white light of protection through the tarot. Um, let's see. You're gifted. Like you have this sense about you. You're very full of love and positivity as well. Uh, when people interfere with your shit for that reason, Taurus, it just, it is what it is. Trust your intuition right now, especially because of that, okay? For whatever this energy, whatever this reason is, it's nurturing energy, it's loving energy, this vibe that you give off. You've got some people around you that just fucking hate it. Yeah, there's manipulative energy, secrets, oh, friend circle, a group here. You need to protect your energy because letting your guard down here... It's going to leave somebody in this energy of feeling like they're like just lost or need to do some soul searching or it's just, I don't understand. It feels very confusing. It just feels like you need to distance yourself from a certain group or being too personal at work. I don't know. I don't know. Only you will know what this is. Okay. So yeah, um, to avoid disappointment, balance and harmony. Mind, body, and soul. This is also protected energy and the five of cups is in reverse. And that's that energy of feeling sorrow, loss, sadness. You know what I'm saying. So just stay balanced, right? Remember what it is here. Here's the sun card. Stay focused on, keep your eyes on the prize. Energy is what I'm getting for you. Before we get into it, though, I feel like we're already doing a whole fucking reading. You guys are just like one to talk my head off because we haven't chatted in so long, I think. 
Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, show your love and support. If you follow me, you know I went through chemo and two surgeries this past year. I've been healing. I'm getting ready to hopefully start back to work part-time in a few weeks. I am a single mother, so if you'd like to donate, that information is in the description box below. Cash up, Venmo, GoFundMe. I'm also doing personal readings right now. And that information is also in the description box below as well. Yeah, if you feel like donating, every little bit counts. Every little bit counts. Mama's car broke down yesterday, so it really counts right now. Um, all right, Taurus. What's going on with my Taurus people? What's going on with my Taurus family? Sun, moon, rising. What messages here do we have for my Taurus, sun, moon, rising? Something about something that's going to resonate with your soul right now. There's a lot of wisdom concerning that. This could be fucking your forever person, okay? There's something resonating with your soul. Eternity. Something that you're going to be, like, maybe the rest of your life. Into the rest of your life. Or this could be soulmate energy with soulmate. Learning a soulmate energy. Wisdom and compassion. Learning something from a soulmate connection. Learning compassion. Gaining wisdom. Gaining wisdom and compassion and a soulmate connection. Gratitude, love, affection, um, being honest, honesty being a big thing here um, for, for you right now and some kind of healing energy for love. Um, something just felt really hot. That was weird. Like the front door is open. I know nothing's on fire. I just got like a sensation, like something felt warm. Um, healing energy. Okay, what were we talking about though? King of Wands energy, fiery energy, interesting. Eight of Swords, there's obsessive energy. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Somebody you're friends with, somebody's friends with your husband, somebody's friends with your hot merit. There's somebody here, a feminine energy as well. Aquarius energy and a feminine Aquarius energy. There's a friend group here and there's also a committed energy or a marriage. Why am I getting hot though? Okay, so we got the Aries Leo Sagittarius energy that came out. What's up with that? There's somebody is fucking mad about something ending. There's an ending, a change in partner, a change. Somebody feels lost and rejected. Water sign, energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Kind of really having like, hmm, understanding they need to change some things. Moving to calmer waters, but more or less understanding some things need to change. Or this is you. I'm not feeling so much you, which is weird. It feels disconnected. It feels like, yeah, there's some sort of judgment here. Earth sign energy, masculine energy, and masculine. This could be if you're a feminine, you and your masculine energy. Watching a situation go down and forward movement, freeing yourself from something here. Where there is a deception, a deceptive energy. Now, if this is not a romantic thing, it's a job. It's, yeah. There's something here that was affecting you, mind, body, and soul, energy-wise. Maybe some of you are like, I've already done that, and I'm do going through it again. If it's work here with the King of Cups energy, Four of Wands energy, it's like, here we fucking go again. Maybe this is you watching, looking for other work, new jobs, new something. Yeah, the change, some kind of a completion, but it being positive. So finding something before you go. Here's the confidence, gaining the confidence. Some of you, this is a relationship. This feels more like work, trust, past energy, tr trying to figure out if you can trust a past energy, going back to a past energy, Libra energy, Taurus energy. I feel like this is you though, with this love and positive energy, going back to a situation, having a different attitude. There you are with the full card Taurus energy, but this is a fresh start moving towards something you feel emotionally drawn to here. I'm getting hot again. What the fuck? Okay. So you feel emotionally turned on, drawn to fire sign energy or a fire sign, but there's also like, I'm feeling turned on because of financial stability. <laughs> All right now, Taurus, I feel you in your earth sign shit, right? But there's also, yeah, there's a masculine energy here you're feeling drawn to. 
Water sign for some of you specifically, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person is very balanced and emotionally mature. This person makes you feel confused about how you feel because they don't talk about it. There's some kind of uh, either something hidden. There's anxiety about something hidden. So it's like you feel all this shit with the Queen of Cups energy. Here you are, Empress, but you don't know how they feel. Um, the good news is you've got money news coming in or something that has to do with money or home that's positive. This is going to work out. For whoever this is worried about this situation, whatever this changes, the Six of Wands is coming out. Okay. Ten of Cups after that. So if you're unhappy now, look, Nine of Cups in reverse. With the lovers, you won't be for long here. Okay. So it's like get out of this cycle. There's some kind of cycle here. Uh, Gemini energy. There's a mutual feeling, mutual attraction. There's a cycle of thinking it's not mutual or something for you going on here. And then like you're stuck in this negative obsessive thing that kind of keeps you out of the vibration of actually moving into this energy with this person's energy right now or could possibly, okay? Sun card, Leo energy. There's something you know, you feel, you know, you know what you want to commit to. You know you what you want to commit to. You know what's going to make you happy, okay? So stay in this energy thought-wise. Okay, even if it's work and not love here. Okay, because I feel like we have both. Transformation, Scorpio energy, Emperor energy, going after what you want. There's a total transformation moving towards you or moving towards you moving towards in your, a transformation in your future. Magician energy is understanding how to work with all the elements to manipulate the energy, but also in a positive way for you moving forward as well, right? Virgo energy, there could, uh, Gemini energy, it could have something to do with the month of September. Aquarius energy, Aquarius energy could also be involved. Something about integrity, the truth, a friend here, and then um, spiritual awakening energy. So a lot going on, wanted to, a lot wanted to shoot out. I feel like we don't have time to keep going today, but... The things that you want to commit to here with the Hierophant energy and then the King, King of Pentacles energy, it's like you're going to be committing yourself to hardcore, okay? Stay in this hot, this high vibe love energy. There's a lot of communication, creative communication if you're doing something creative here. But also this energy here is also bringing in stability with a soulmate connection or this could be a partnership as well. But And that's also financial stability. So either way, it's good. All right, I hope, uh, let's do, let's throw a couple sexual tarot since I've been doing that today. <laughs> what other uh, messages do we have for Taurus spirit? Do we have any love sexual messages? Then we'll pray, right? We'll do the angels. Somebody can see themselves with you or you or this person, fire energy. Uh, I've been getting hot the whole reading. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So, um... There's been a setback with this person's energy somehow between, yeah, some kind of trust situation here with set uh, person, said person. This is a past person. Somebody feels like somebody wasn't giving the same, okay, with the Six of Pentacles that wanted to come out in reverse. So if it was a past situation, there's definitely somebody wanting to see themselves, seeing themselves with you. Somebody see, saw you somehow. Maybe they came by your house, something weird. Came by, saw you through a window and you were naked and stopped. I don't know. It's like enticed them even more. I don't think it was creepy. I think they were coming to say hello and actually saw something. And it was like, oh shit. There's Taurus, right? <laughs> I don't know. Something happened here and it's got somebody looking at somebody different too. Somebody, yeah, completely wants to manipulate a situation or is trying to figure out how to make it happen, Captain. When he's got his face buried in her breast with the Queen of Cups energy. So, if it was a past person, they were dropping by and they're even more enticed now because this is Scorpio looking really sexy. This is him wanting to dominate the situation or somebody wanting to dominate a situation. Somebody walked away from somebody. 
or you will be. I don't know. Either way, I think that got interesting. All right, what messages do we have with my angel cards? trying to get this organized because I looked up and it looked like a hot fucking mess. Uh-uh-uh. Come stay in here, baby. Stay where mommy can see you. You keep your little bow and stay where mommy can see you. Don't be doing nothing crazy. Thank you. Um, yeah, I looked up and that shit looked crazy. All right. So organize something there's something maybe you need to do some organizing i don't know because i'm talking about it why the fuck am i talking about it <laughs> i don't know all right some of y'all need to get out in some sun i just looked out and saw like the sun glistening on a car that just drove by all right and it felt good all right so what messages do we have for my Taurus family the full the full new beginning Taurus energy. So definitely talking to you, angels. What messages do we have from the angels? You have been going through difficult changes or times, but they're assisting you, number one. Okay, with the Ten of Pentacles energy, there's inner and outer work that needed to be done, needs to be done, is being done. Okay, but this overall is going to bring a large amount of money or a larger amount of money increase, pay increase, something it could be inheritance. Somehow there's a larger amount of money kind of coming in to your energy with this new beginning. Okay, with the Ten of Pentacles. Ace of Cups energy. Uh, there's a rejuvenating positive energy that's full of just love, light. I felt it through the whole reading. It's really been giving you a lot of strength. This is going to be this inner strength, your angels, inner wisdom here. Okay, Ace of Cups though, but it's going to also bring, possibly you could be attracting Leo energy, water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, a loyal companion here, okay, that has a lot of love. I love it. So there is this energy of something new happening that's very loyal, that's very loving, that's very positive and uplifting. The Empress energy, fertility and fruitfulness. So um, you here and your Empress energy, okay? Be careful if you don't want to get pregnant or get anyone pregnant, okay? This is also marriage energy. This is preparing for marriage. This is kind of understanding maybe... Um, Ace of Swords, figuring out what you want to commit to with the Seven of Cups, having options, preparing for marriage, or just preparing your life for like, what do I want to commit to is a lot of what I feel like and changes being made in that direction because there's not been a transformation where you feel like there should be one, but learning the lesson here, karmic cycle of completion, moving forward and changing some shit up, whether it's a partner, a job, whatever, Taurus, this is what I see for you guys, okay? Um... Let's do a few tea leaf really quick before I end the reading. Spirit angels, ancestors, guides, what other messages do we have for my Taurus family? Horseshoe. Ooh, 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 I like it. Good luck. Okay, so we've got good luck coming to you. What else do we have for my Taurus family? Oh, triumph over troubles and obstacles with the eagle. Scorpio energy again too. You could have Scorpio in your chart, um, but this is also the energy of being close to, to, to the. the ooh, excuse me, <laughs> being close to the divine. Oh, then uh, I feel like it's a good feeling. It's bringing great passion because I just got really excited saying that. So, in this energy, Scorpio, it's the energy here of triumph over obstacles and understanding these. I said Scorpio again, Taurus. Don't beat me. Triumph over obstacles because I think about Scorpios when I look at eagles. I'm sorry. I just do. Please forgive me. Okay. <laughs> I love you guys too. Um, you're so stubborn in such a good way, right? Um, and it's a lot like Scorpio. So, but you're their they're polar opposite, right? On the and anyway, different different subject. Let's. I'm getting totally sidetracked. I love you guys. Sorry. But this is because of your connection to the divine. This is like the triumph, the success, understanding. And I like that with the white leaf or the white leaf. 
<laughs> the white feather that wanted to pop out at the beginning of the reading too, it's because of the spiritual connection to divine, right? So I'm getting tongue tied. So I know it's time for me to stop now. Okay. I love you guys. I hope this message was helpful. Until next time, lots of love and light. Again, if you'd like to purchase a personal or donate, that information is in the description box below. Bye.